UK here. We represent uh, a number of churches and denominations. There's some 60 of us in our group and we regularly come here to Kings Lynn and regularly Wisbech and regularly Peterborough. But we do other, do other venues as well. Anyway, that's by way of introduction. But what are we doing here? We're doing here, uh, what are we doing here is that we're telling you about the Lord Jesus Christ. It is our duty as Christians to proclaim the truth. Jesus said, well, I tell you uh, in, your, in uh, your ear what I whisper in your ear, I want you to declare it from the rooftops. That's a poetic way of saying, get it out there. And that's what we're doing here today. We're getting the message of Jesus Christ and what he did for you and for me. God, God the Father, says this, be holy because I am holy. Uh -huh. So if I ask you that question, are you holy? You might say, well, I'm not sure what holiness means. Well, I'll tell you, it means being perfect. Perfect in every way, in every moral way. And that you desire righteousness and justice and fairness and goodness and kindness. Now, if you're able to aspire to that, you will be come holy yourself but i can tell you that none of us can do that on our own accord you might be able to put a facade you might be able to pretend you might be able to act holy but deep down you will be a sinner like anybody else unless and this is the unless if you become a Christian, you will receive the Holy Spirit. On my sandwich boards at the back and also at the front are references to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. Probably the most mysterious person of the Godhead. He will come to live in you and transform you from the inside out. Your human spirit will be made acceptable to God through the Holy Spirit. Now you may have been to church, you may have been to the odd service at a church, but it's pretty unlikely you have ever heard that message before. It's life transforming. Now you will not receive the Holy Spirit until you've come into a relationship with God the Father through the Son. So I've now mentioned all three persons of the Trinity. It may say com sound complicated, but folks, it's really quite simple to begin with. It's almost like you get three in one. Buy one, get, what, get th two more free. That's slightly unreverential to put it that way. But that's what happens. It happened to me. I got to know the Lord Jesus Christ. And in the process, I then get to know the Father. And I'm indwelt by the Holy Spirit. And my life was transformed. And my brother here in Christ will say the same about his life. Amen. And so will other genuine Christians. So how do we get to know the Lord Jesus Christ? Well, first of all, we have to accept that we're sinners. We have to acknowledge that we're not worthy to become in the presence of a holy God. And so we need a saviour. We need to be saved from the penalty of our sins. However good you think you might become on your own efforts, it will never be good enough. Because I'm afraid what you've already done disqualifies you. So you need a saviour that can save you from all the sins that you've committed in the past, any that you might be committing even right now, and all those in the future. You want a saviour that is in control of time, past, present and future. And Jesus is that person. He came to earth for a specific 
length of time to do a specific purpose. He showed himself to be God when he performed miracles, raising people from the dead, curing the deaf, the blind, the lame, the sick. Some believed that he was the Messiah, some rejected him, and it's the same today. Do you believe that he is who he says he is, or do you reject him? That is the choice. If you reject him, I'm afraid you're going to hell. And that's the simple truth. I can't flower it, put it in flowery language, because that's not going to help anybody. You need to know. The warnings are out, verbally and visually. We put on boards, we give you tracts, and we speak on the microphone so that you know the message. There will be no excuse when it comes to judgment. So, accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour. Accept that you need a Saviour. Accept that you need forgiveness for your sins. But you trust totally in what Jesus did on the cross. What did he do on the cross, you might say? Well, he laid down his life for you so that you could be saved. He took the penalty that you and I deserve so that you can be set free. Amen. He took the punishment that you and I deserve so that you can be set free. It's like the judge in the dock coming down and pay your, paying your fine and so you can be set free. It's as simple as that, putting your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross. But wonderfully, the cross could not hold him. He rose from the dead. After Amen. three days in the grave, he rose from the dead. Yet again, proving that he's God. Yet again, showing that he has complete power over death. So you need not die, spiritually speaking. You will die physically, like anybody else. But spiritually, you can live forever to be with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit in a perfect heaven and a restored earth. This fallen earth, this imperfect earth, will be restored to its pristine, initial, created state. And you can be a member of that kingdom. Do you want to be a citizen of the kingdom of God? Because that's what's on offer. It's also described as being adopted. You will be an adopted son or daughter of God, adopted into his family so that you will receive all the rights of his family. It's a wonderful offer. Once again, you may never hear this message again in your lifetime. So I'm just going to repeat the essentials of it once more. Put your trust in Jesus Christ alone and what he did on the cross to save you from the penalty of your sins. That he rose again from the dead and therefore you can be a citizen of the kingdom of heaven, an adopted son or daughter of God. It is in the name of Jesus that we ask these things. Amen. Amen. Amen, brother. Amen. Very well done, brother. Well, <laughs> very well done. Okay.